In this question, we're told a point P lies on the curve with equation x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 8y is equal to 24. We're asked to find the greatest and least possible values of the length OP where O is the origin. The first thing I notice now is that this is an equation of a circle. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and complete the square. So we'll have x plus half of the coefficient, which will be minus 3. We square the bracket and subtract away 9. We will then add to that y plus half the coefficient, so y plus 4. We square the bracket and subtract away 16. We set that equal to the 24. We can now add the 9 and the 16 to both sides. So we'll have the quantity x minus 3 all squared plus the quantity y plus 4 all squared is equal to 49. So we can state that this is a circle. I'll call the centre C and the centre is going to be at 3 comma minus 4. And we've got a radius and the radius will be the positive square root of 49 which is 7. What I'm going to do now is sketch this up. So a brief sketch should allow us to answer the problem. So we've got now a circle and we've got the centre and let's put this on, it'll look something like so. The distances between these two possible points are going to be now at the end of the diameter of this circle. So this is now the origin. I'm going to put the centre of the circle just here. And in terms of our sketch, it doesn't have to be massively accurate. We can just put some form of sketch together to work this out. So what we're going to have then is a diameter. So our p min is going to be here and our p max will be here. These two values will be at the end of the diameter of the circle. The first thing I recognise now is that we've got a Pythagorean triple. So if we consider now that we've gone right by 3 and then down by 4, then this length right here, which is going to be O to C, will be 5 units. So straight off we can say that O C is 5 units. Now the radius is going to be 7. So we can see that this length right here is going to be 2. So if I call this now P min and I call this one P max, we can see from this straight off that O P min is going to be equal to 2. We know that the length of a radius is going to be 7. So we can say at this stage now that O, and we'll write this here, O P max is going to be equal to 5 plus the 7. So we can say that O P max will be equal to 12. So we've got a maximum distance of 12 and a minimum distance of 2. And that's simply doing it geometrically. So we've considered completing the square on the circle, drawing a quick sketch, recognising now that we've got this right angle triangle, a Pythagorean triple. We can see that OC is 5. Therefore, if the length of radius is 7, this distance now must be 2. These two values are at the end of the diameter of the circle. The diameter will go through the origin and the centre, and all we need to do is then add the 5 and the 7 to get the maximum distance. So once you've done a sketch, fairly straightforward from there. There are alternative approaches to it, but I think now just sketching this up is the best approach.